Baruch Haba, and welcome to another Torah portion reading. This one is the chapter of Deuteronomy 32, and it is called Ha'azinu, which means give ear, or literally to broaden out the ear with the hand. So that gives you a nice little picture. And the Torah, the written scrolls, this Torah portion, is written in two columns as you can see here this isn't of course a Torah scroll but this Bible actually uh, writes the Torah portions as the Torah scrolls do and see how it's written out in two columns like this this here is normal but this is Hazini and we're gonna see three tittles in this Torah portion and I will point those out as we go over them but I didn't see any awesome talks in this Torah portion which is a little strange but I guess since it is only one chapter uh, you know it's kind of short so here we go with the reading Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew, as raindrops on the tender herb and as showers on the grass. For I proclaim the name Yahovah, ascribe greatness to Eloheinu. He is our rock. There's a tittle in the rock, Zor. His work is perfect, for all his ways are justice. El Imuna, or El of Truth, and without injustice, righteous and upright is he. They have corrupted themselves. They are not his children. Because of their blemish, a perverse and crooked generation, do you thus deal with Yahovah? There's another tittle, the enlarged hay. O oh, foolish and unwise people, is he not your father who bought you? Has he not made you and established you? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father and he will show you your elders, and they will tell you, when the Most High divided their inheritance to the nations, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the boundaries of the peoples according to the number of the children of Israel. For Yahovah's portion is his people. Yaakov is the place of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in the wasteland a howling wilderness. He encircled them. He encircled him. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirs up its nest, hovers over its young, spreading out its wings, taking them up, carrying them on its wings. So Yahweh alone led him. And there was no foreign god with him. He made him ride in the heights of the earth that he might eat the produce of the fields. He made him draw honey from the rock and oil from the flinty rock, curds from the cattle and milk of the flock with fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan and goats with the choice wheat. And you drank wine, the blood of the grapes. But Yeshurun grew fat and kicked. You grew fat, you grew thick. You are obese. Then he forsook Eloha, who made him, and scornfully esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to jealousy with foreign gods. With abominations they provoked him to anger. They sacrificed to demons, not to Eloha, to gods they did not know, to new gods, new arrivals that your fathers did not fear 
of the rock who begot you. You are unmindful, small yo there. You have forgotten El who fathered you. And when Yahovah saw it, he spurned them because of the provocation of his sons and his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end will be. For they are a perverse generation, children in whom is no faith. They have provoked me to jealousy by what is not ill. They have moved me to anger by their foolish idols. But I will provoke them to jealousy by those who are not a nation. I will move them to anger by a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in my anger, and shall burn to the lowest Sheol. It shall consume the earth with her increase, and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap disasters on them. I will spin my arrows in them. They shall be wasted with hunger, devoured by pestilence and bitter destruction. I will also send against them the teeth of beasts with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword shall destroy outside. There shall be terror within for the young man and virgin, the nursing child with the man of gray hairs. I would have said, I will dash them in pieces. I will make the memory of them to cease from among men. Had I not feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should mis misunderstand, lest they should say, Our hand is high, and it is not Yahovah who has done all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, nor is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. How could one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight unless their rock had sold them and Yahovah had surrendered them? For their rock is not like our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of serpents and the cruel venom of cobras. Is this not laid up in store with me? Sealed up among my treasures? Vengeance is mine and recompense. Their foot shall slip in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand and the things to come hasten upon them. For Yahovah will judge his people and have compassion on his servants. When he sees that their power is gone and there is no one remaining bond or free, he will say, Where are their gods, the rock in which they sought refuge, who ate the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings? Let them rise and help you and be your refuge. Now see that I... Even I am he, and there is no Elohim besides me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Nor is there any who can deliver from my hand. For I raise my hand to heaven and say, As I live forever, if I wet my glittering sword and he and my hand takes hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and repay those who hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood, and my sword shall devour flesh with the blood of the saints and the captives from the heads of the leaders of the enemy. Rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and render vengeance to his adversaries. He will provide atonement for his land and his people. So Moshe came with Yehoshua, the son of Nun, and spoke all the words of this song in the hearing of the people. Moshe finished speaking all these words to all Israel, and he said to them, Set your hearts on all the words which I testify among you today, which you have commanded, which you shall command your children to be careful to observe.
all the words of this Torah. For it is not a futile thing for you, because it is your life. And by this word you shall prolong your days in the land which you cross over the Jordan to possess. Then Yahweh spoke to Moshe that very same day, saying, Go up this mountain of the Abiram, Mount Nebo, which is in the land of Moab across from Jer Jericho. View the land of Canaan, which I give to the children of Israel as a possession, and die on the mountain which you ascend, and be gathered to your people, just as Aaron, your brother, died on Mount Hor and was gathered to his people, because you trans Passed, trespassed against me among the children of Israel at the waters of Meribah, Kadesh, in the wilderness of Zin, because you did not hallow me in the midst of the children of Israel. Yet you shall see the land before you, though you shall not go there, into the land which I am giving to the children of Israel. And that is the end of chapter 32 and the end of Ha'azinu. We only have one more Torah portion to go until the end of Devarim, Deuteronomy. Thank you for joining me and Shavua Tov. Have a blessed week and Lahitraot. See you later.